Hey guys, welcome to another week interview here at Pop Culture. I'm Andy and this is Bianca and oh boy Bianca, we've got an awesome show to we've show got, to show. We've got so much show to show. I'm so people. excited. Um, no Josh this week. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no Sandy either. Uh, apologies. But uh, you know what? Bianca and I can we, we can do this, can't yeah, we? we? Yeah, can, we, we, we can do it. We can do it. <laughs> we can make We're sorry. confident. <laughs> we can do it. Now guys, no we can review. What's a week interview? Week interview is where we just pretty much show you everything that's coming to the warehouse this week here at Pop Culture and we give away prizes. How do you win prizes? All you need to do is leave a comment on the feed you are watching, you go into the running. Luke is out this week, but we've got an awesome fill-in. We've got, uh, we've got Jess. Hi! Hi. Jess. <laughs> Jess is here to run the wheel, look at the feed, pick some names at random from the feed, and, uh, and put those names on the wheel at the end, the end of the episode, in roughly 55 minutes time. Um, <laughs> so you've got to capture her attention this week. Jess is going to spin that wheel and uh, some people are going to win prizes. Those prizes this week are... This guy right here is Lilo and Stitch, Lilo and Stitch in hammock, pop vinyl figure. Which is uh, so, pop so moment. Cute. <laughs> uh, They're in a hammock, there's trees, there's sand, there's ukulele, uh, it's everything you want in life. And uh, someone's going to be winning it today. So there's that, that's one prize. Another prize we're giving away is this guy. No, uh, no ones this week. Um, <laughs> uh, it is the T-Rex 10 inch uh, pop vinyl figure from Jurassic World Dominion. Uh, we've got plenty of Dominion stuff to show you this week. Uh, and of course, at the end of the episode, we're just going to pick, pick a random prize to give away. Three people win some awesome stuff today, so do comment to go into the running. Um, and, uh, you know, tell us how you're doing, tell us some jokes, leave some comments. Yeah, say something funny. Yeah. You know. Jess might read it out. Yeah. And who knows? Maybe. <laughs> you better be funny. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe that might help you get on the wheel. We never make any promises. Um, but uh, without further ado, we may as well get stuck into some stuff. Uh, awesome range to talk about this week. Bianca, where should we start? I feel like we always start with Funko. Maybe. Yeah, so let's not. Let's start with some primitive skate. <laughs> we never ever start with primitive. No, we don't. Uh, and so Luke isn't here to ever. talk about it. <laughs> and um, let me let me recreate some Luke things. Yeah, so it's um, it's, uh, it's nine ply maple. Um, I don't, I don't know. know that's different a sizes. <laughs> Eight, one, two. You can tell I'm a big skate guy. Um, well, <laughs> <laughs> no, Super Improvement Skates collab with um, some of their uh, signed uh, skateboarders and some uh, awesome Naruto uh, Shippuden characters. Uh, Bianca, what do we got? Um, so we have um, we've got the silver board here. I I believe this is a called Madara. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very unfamiliar with Naruto, you're just going to have to forgive me on that. Um, but that is a really cool looking deck, like, I just love the dramatic kind of effect on the character. It's got it's so cool. Yes, it I does have I can contribute as well. Uh, this next one, um, that's this guy in a snake mouth, that's pretty cool. Um, and uh, then we've got a gillet board with old mate... Um, uh, Kakashi? Yeah, he's got some I dogs. think, yes. Um, so that's the the dog team, if I remember correctly. There are dogs, so... Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of dogs. Um, Josh would dig that, actually. Yeah, Josh he's, would he's a big dog guy. That. Yeah, he likes dogs. Anyway, we've got this Rodriguez board as well with Naruto on it. I definitely know his name. <laughs> um, we've got a team deck here with the whole crew on it. Which is really, really cool. There's heaps of like Look at the crew. sick detail in that. <laughs> um, and we have um, a, another one with... Uh, this guy. Begin... I oh. think that's Sasuke. Sasuke? I think. I don't know. Um, but anyway. I knew it on stage. <laughs> anyway, this is from Escape. Um, they, yeah, really great skateboard brand. And uh, these all come in different sizes. Uh, one size per board. Uh, we've got 8.25, we've got 8.38, we've got 8, we've got 8.5, folks, we've got 8.25, it's getting pretty crazy in here, um, and uh, 8.125, so wow. Um, so you can hang these on your wall, or you can actually add some wheels to them and just like, you yeah. know, ollie out in the streets and all that noise. <laughs> I if played you like. Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure, so I know what an ollie is. Yeah, that was the best thing, I don't know. Uh, anyway, that's uh, some new stuff in from Primitive Skate. Bianca, we've got a question. We've got a question. We've got a question. Who do you consider the 
skateboard from a Tyson at Cornwall. He wants to know, can you skate? Can you shred? Um, <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> would you like to try? <laughs> there's no wheels on these boards, but boy, if there were, I would be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would just be like a pancake on the ground um, in two seconds flat. <laughs> but again, this is extreme skate adventure. I had some experience, so. I used um, to play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Good yeah. I mean, I was good at that, just I, I can't do like actual land wheels, I will fall straight away. Sea wheels, the <laughs> Watch out. Uh, guys, we've got a bit of a Star Wars sale on at the moment. Um, use code FIGURIN DAM. Uh, what is F the context behind this code? Alright, FIGURIN DAM is one of the most iconic Star Wars characters to ever play uh, the Katina. Um, and. Uh, <laughs> Figure and Dan and the modal nerves of the band that plays in the original Star Wars film. And Figure and Dan plays some kind of like instrument. And um, you may have not seen another 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 uh, film called the, the Lost Boys. There's a there's a sax man and uh, yeah some some cool person here may have drawn them together. But anyway, I wonder figure, which cool person. Figure, figure and Dan <laughs> is the code F I G R I N D A M N. Uh, we'll get you 20% off all in-stock Star Wars product, excluding mystery boxes, at uh, this point in time. So, we Very don't know exciting. when that's going to end, so you better get your order in pretty quick. Um, but, because it's, it's, it was May 4th this week and we're celebrating some Star Wars stuff, we thought we'd talk about some Star Wars Loungefly, because uh, we unfortunately didn't receive any new Loungefly from this week. No, unfortunately not, but we've got some really cool in-stock Loungefly, and also, it is Revenge of the Sixth today, so... Good timing. Um, so speaking also of iconic characters, <laughs> we have this awesome Jar Jar Binks backpack. Um, so this one's really cool. It's got um, a little Star Wars enamel charm here and custom shape applique to bring out Jar Jar. And I think this is a really, really cool backpack. Justice so. for Jar Jar. So. Yeah, justice for Jar Jar. <laughs> Jess is a bit of a Jar Jar fan. I love me some Jar Jar. <laughs> He's underrated. He needs. He deserves love as well. Yeah, and the most I, questionable lounge fly backpack I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's good. I think it's quite cute. If you're questioning it, buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely bring it into your wardrobe. Bring some um, questions into your wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also have these really cool. Um, it's like part travel of, ones, aren't they? Yeah, they yeah. are. And like this, these are really cool too because lounge fly don't do a lot of like this shape. Um, so these are just like Star Wars land series. So basically it's just like really simple kind of silhouetted versions of planets that are in the Star Wars universe. So we have, if I'm pronouncing this correctly, Kashyyyk. I would have sure. said that, but then I don't know what I would have said. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's got three Ys. How do you pronounce Kashyyyk? that? Kashyyyk. I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's how I read it, mate. Oh, Kashyyyk. We need Kashyyyk. Will. Will's a Star Wars boy. <laughs> anyway, so this one, um, uh, what was it? I believe this is the Wookiee. No, not the Wookiee. Oh, oh no. the little the dudes. The little, yeah, those little dudes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like a lush, lovely planet, um, all silhouetted on the front there, and it's got some like really nice kind of wash texture all the way around it too. Um, this one's much the same. Um, so this is Mustafa. I know this one. It's a volcanic planet. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks all like bold and hot. And it's got some um, embroidery throughout here, just like bringing out the lava and everything, which is really, really cool. Um, so we've got those ones. We also have this really cool Death Star pin trader, which I love. It even comes with um, a pin if you don't have any yet. Um, so this one's really cool. So it's just outfitted with a whole bunch of holes so you can put as many pins on it as you want or as little as you like. Um, I know we've got heaps and heaps of Star Wars fig pins um, in stock at the moment. So you can get like one big giant one and put it on there if you want. Or you can get like several little ones or maybe even just not put Star Wars pins on there. I don't know, do what you there. want. <laughs> uh, but again, it's 20% off all Star Wars, so perfect time to get some pins and a bag to put pins on. Mm, um, exactly. Just use the code figure and damn. <laughs> and last we've got as well, um, 
are these boat fit accessories. I love these, there's so much detail going on here. Um, so heaps of applique to just bring everything forward. Um, we've got the Mandalore symbol. Is it the Mandalore symbol? I, I have no right. idea what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I know I know it, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I'm, I'm not recalling properly at the moment. <laughs> anyway, this is an enamel zipper charm or something. Um, and yeah, we've got the matching wallet here too, with heaps of really cool detail on it. Um, so that's some of our in stock Star Wars and Lounge Buy stuff. And we've got heaps more on the website that you can check out as well. And you can, you know, save a bit of money on some accessories until the sale ends at some point in time. Some <laughs> point in time. Um, also on the Grimace we'll stay on the ground whilst we're here. Uh, got some awesome new things from Playmobil. I hope you guys like pirates and Grand Sea Adventures and <laughs> looting and... I love looting. Um, <laughs> Just saying. What else do pirates do? They talk like pirates. Yeah, there's a lot of questionable okay. things, Bianca. <laughs> um, but anyway, we've got two ships here. We've got a 132-piece uh, ship, which is this guy. Look at that. That's big. That's a big pirate ship. Red sails, menacing. Uh, you got a little, little, some pirates in there. Looks like a monkey. That's pretty cool. And uh, got a little itty-bitty 102-piece um, pirate ship. And this is just, you know, these guys are trying their best. Um, <laughs> And uh, they don't look that evil, not like all red flag over there. Um, but uh, you can grab these, they're online now. And if you're looking for some family fun, well, look no further than the family fun line of Playmobil. Uh, this is a, a zoo range. This is lions and squirrels um, and aquatic bird. Um. <laughs> I've got elephants as well, they're so cute. And I can see there's like a joint in their trunk so they can do the Anyway, I'm done. <laughs> um, we also have <laughs> monkeys, orangutans, swinging around, possibly falling down. Very cool. And they all come with their um, zookeepers by the looks of it too, which is really, really cool. Does this one? No, this one comes with parent and child. <laughs> um, hey, parent and child is important to add to that Ooh, zoo. Yeah, so there's a whole like zoo thing you can put together. These are just three of the pieces that you can get, namely this one. And you can extend this bridge, I think, with more pieces as well, so you can keep it going. Uh, but we may have them. <laughs> I don't know if we do. But anyway, we have these little awesome things from Lounge Fly that are now available. Brandon should be linking them as we speak. And the Yang Cook wants to know, going back to the Star Wars stuff, I like Jar Jar Binks, he's my favorite. What are your guys' favorite Star Wars characters? I like Bigger and Dan. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have like a huge extensive knowledge on the Star Wars universe, but I did really, really enjoy um, The Mandalorian, so I'm a big fan of Mando. And uh, yeah, I really like Grogu as well, like most people. I went into it kind of going, I'm not going to be one of those people that just falls in love with him like everybody does, but it, it, it happened. <laughs> <laughs> so I like those two. Oh, um, <laughs> Um, but yeah, I have a certain interest in Darth Vader as well. Like I've been like learning about his backstory a bit more, like going from Anakin to Darth and like what happened to him and all that kind of thing. Um, so that's high up there. Mm. Learning about him anyway. Like who's your favorite? I'm... Favorite <laughs> I, no, I like Bianca. I like uh, The Mandalorian. Yeah. I like all the newer stuff. Uh, cool. Not the sequel stuff. That was... Well, you know, figuring Dan was in Book of Book. That's, uh... Was yes, he? I like new things, too. Was he the blue thing? No, he's the... <laughs> no! <laughs> what? Kind of like... No, he's in... He's in... He's in the... The bar at, um... The Boba Fett goes into all the time. In the new Boba Fett show. Did you watch the show? I did. <laughs> he doesn't remember it! I... Remember it. Uh, anyway, I'll, some... I'll Google him later. <laughs> we got some, um... <laughs> some bumps to talk about. May as well yeah, talk okay. about it. Uh, kick it off, we found these in our warehouse and uh, we realised we had never sold them. Um, we did land them obviously after this convention, but um, we... Uh, 2019. 2019. <laughs> I hope the Pez is still good. Uh, spring convention exclusive item. This is Scott Pilgrim uh, from the iconic film Scott Pilgrim vs. the World uh, as a Pez dispenser, pop Pez dispenser. So I don't see any 
use my information on that, so I would hope you're okay to, to, to use it. But anyway, let's go here from Pop Pez uh, dispenser. That's really, really great. Um, we've also got a couple of two packs that have just come in. Uh, we've got the Two Face and Riddler. Uh, glow in the dark two pack. Now it should be pointed out that only the Riddler glows in the dark. If you wanted to glow in the dark two face, keep on searching because this two face does not glow. No, only the Riddler. Um, and if you want the Riddler as a glow in your collection, well, you have to grab two face to add him to your collection, but just regular old two face. But this is, of course, from Batman Forever. Um, that's Jim Carrey, that's Tommy Lee Jones, and um, yeah. These are really well executed pops. I think well. so I just too. love them. They look like really detailed and bold and I think they look really cool. Like, I mean they look really cool pops. but I mean Jim Carrey did the right job but he's not Paul Dano am I right? <laughs> God. Well it's great Paul Dano oh boy. Um, also got some Demon Slayer, Tupac, We've got Tanjiro and Nezuku, Nezuko. Uh, again I'm really big in anime guys. Um, <laughs> Anyway, uh, these are in a two-pack, uh, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, we've got a new Funko exclusive that just arrived this week, so I put it up on the website last Saturday. Now, Blake, you have seen the new Doctor Strange uh, in the Multiverse of Madness film. Can you give us a brief uh, summary of your uh, opinion? Was it yay? Obviously, no spoilers, but yay, nay? It was a yay. May? Be? Uh, nah, definitely a yay. Definitely a yay. If you like Scarlet Witch, yes, I do. You have mixed feelings about her actions, <laughs> uh -oh. but uh -oh. I support her doing anything, so it's okay. <laughs> and that's fine. She's and Christine Palmer was there too. She did Rachel stuff. Rachel McAdams. Yeah, she did stuff. There wasn't Rachel McAdams pop from the original Doctor Strange film. So if you want mm -hmm. Rachel McAdams pop as a character, Christine Palmer in Doctor Strange, uh, <laughs> you need to get this one. And uh, it's available by itself or in a mystery box. You can get some uh, exclusive pops, uh, mystery pops uh, there for one great collector friendly price. So that definitely check that out. Bianca. Manga vs. Spider-Man. So I don't know a whole lot about um, Manga vs. Spider-Man. You know what I know? Yeah. It's beyond amazing. <laughs> <laughs> It is beyond amazing though. Anything Spider Man is automatically. Now, my understanding mind. of this Spider Man is that he is part of a um, clan. Yes. That yeah, goes and uh, to take on Venom. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I read that on our website. Um. <laughs> it's actually um, a little twist on the whole like Uncle Ben dying thing. Not a spoiler. He <laughs> dies a lot, unfortunately. Um, apparently, it's actually Venom who is responsible for Uncle Ben's death in, this, in, in the Mangover Spider-Man world, which is really, really interesting. So after reading that, I'm really keen to get onto that story. My and it's got like a real, um, how do I put it? It's like really, really cartoonish looking. So like it's gone kind of beyond anime. It's like right. its own style, like really big feet, big arms, like big hands kind of thing. It's really interesting art style. I'll have to check it out. Yeah. Um, WWE fans, we've got a Macho Man Randy Savage pop that has just come in. Look at him. He's got his crown on. He's got his uh, he's got his little tassels there. He's got his sunglasses on. And that's Macho Man Randy Savage from WWE, folks. Uh, <laughs> add it. It's a special edition one. It's got a sticker on it, which means, unfortunately, we cannot currently send any special edition items uh, to the United States or Canada at this point in time. But keep an eye on the website because that status may change. Uh, or, I don't know, maybe one. Let's find out. Um, <laughs> Jurassic Park, no, sorry. It would be great if it was Jurassic Park, but no, it's Jurassic <laughs> World film. Uh, Jurassic World Dominion. Um, just there the is so many Jurassic parts. World film that is going to redeem itself only because they bring back some characters from the original Jurassic Park trilogy. Um, and by trilogy, I mean the first one. Hey, I'm excited to see him. And they were in the later ones, but not actually just the first one. Um, so, everyone's least favourite characters from the Jurassic Park franchise, <laughs> Owen Grady and Claire Deering, are available in pop form. There's a new character called Maisie, um, who might be a child, or just <laughs> maybe not, I don't know. We'll have to see the film to find out. Uh, so there's those. We have uh, the originals and the best. We've got Dr. Ian Malcolm with his glasses. Uh, he's still wearing black because he's a cool dude. Uh, Dr. Alan Grant, which is a special edition item. Look at him. Sam Neill got old, but he still looks like Sam Neill. And he's still wearing hats and blue shirts, so that's good. And, uh, of course, 
Um, Laura Dern, uh, everyone's favorite actor, the world's greatest actor, Laura Dern, is Dr. Ali Sattler. Um, first time you can never get an Ali Sattler pop that is not in a pop ride, so that's some exciting stuff. And um, we had everyone's most iconic dinosaur, the Therizoni Dinosaurus. Yep. That's oh, the guy. Sorry, it looks like it says. That. It looks like it says there is no saurus. Oh, there is no saurus. Mm, doesn't exist. There is no saurus. Interesting. <laughs> uh, so there's some exciting uh, characters and a uh, single uh, dinosaur there. Uh, of course, we have some mystery minis as well. There's a whole series of mystery minis, but this is a great mystery. I love any mystery mini. Mystery mini series that has dinosaurs in it because you're always guaranteed to get something really, really cool. Um, in this case, you might risk getting um, a uh, um, Chris Pratt mystery <laughs> mini, and nobody really wants that. But uh, you might also get a sexy uh, Jeff Goldblum uh, mystery mini, or any one of these dinosaurs. We got this one, which is a one in six chance of getting, um, which is pretty cool. Little insight to some of the dinosaurs that might be seen in the upcoming film, which is pretty cool, but uh, yeah, that is a great little vinyl figure. If you want some great big vinyl figures, look no further, we have the T-Rex and the G Gigantosaurus um, uh, as 10 inch items. Uh, they each stand on a little uh, uh, ground diorama base and uh, perfectly uh, pitted against each other um, if you wanna see some uh, dinos in action. And of course, we are giving the um, T-Rex away this week, which yes, is we pretty exciting. So hopefully you're on the wheel and get a chance to win the mother of all dinosaurs. Sorry, nothing beats T-Rex for me. <laughs> nothing. Okay, clearly you haven't uh, ever heard of a Stegosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've also got some pop keychains that have come in as well. We've got a T-Rex. We've got... Uh, there is no Saurus, as Blake is calling it. <laughs> and uh, we have Blue, the Velociraptor. Um, that is all right. Uh, we have a couple other dinosaur pops that have come in. We've got Atrociraptor Red. We've got Atrociraptor uh, Panthera. Uh, we've got Atrociraptor Ghost. We've got Atrociraptor Tiger. Uh, we've got another Atrociraptor Ghost. Uh, all of the, the previous ones are all special edition ones. Uh, we've got a Gigantosaurus. There's a regular pop. We've got uh, Velociraptors, um, Blue and Beta, and uh, we have, folks, of course, another T-Rex, which is very, very exciting stuff. Um, All the dinosaurs just look really, really cool in pop form. I they think. do. I'm a big fan of dinosaurs. I'm a big fan of Jurassic Park. I'm a big fan of Jurassic Park, The Lost World. Sorry, The Lost World, Jurassic Park. Um, <laughs> and I might be a big fan of this film. We'll find out. Um, rest of the franchise, who cares? Um, but uh, yeah, we've also got uh, a awesome new Lilo and Stitch in hammock pop that we are giving away this week. So be sure to leave it in your name and comment because Jess is, is picking names. She's picking and she's putting them on the wheel. Aren't you Jess? I am. Yeah, she's doing it. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, we've got Lilo and Stitch there in the hammock. Uh, they're relaxing, um, playing ukulele, being near the ocean. Being adorable. Yeah, what a great moment. What a, what a great moment. Is that when she tells him about her parents dying in a car accident or something? Yeah, what a great moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's a moment. Vince Carter, so this is a, this is a new, I don't know if I've had one of these in before, but this is the Pop Magazine covers, the New Line Funko, similar to the VHS covers, their pop albums, uh, etc. Uh, but this is a magazine cover of Slam Magazine. Uh, this is Vince Carter on the cover, and um, there is a pop uh, of Vince Carter wearing the same outfit that he's wearing uh, on the cover of this issue of Slam Magazine, um, which is issue, uh, I don't know, 35, issue 35, uh, and this collects cover three, um, and um, wow, what a, what a great, what a great basketball pop. Um, <laughs> awesome. Stuff. I'm a big um, fan of those um, couple pops in general. I think they're just really, they're fun really to unique. Touch. Um, <laughs> and yeah, you're just super excited about uh, this little guy right oh, here. Oh man, I so am. Uh, I have to get this guy out. So we have Eddie Guerrero in a low rider. It's so sick. I've been so excited for this to come in. Um, of course, Eddie unfortunately passed away, but when mm -hmm. he was live in action, he was just. 
so awesome, just really um, great wrestler, you would really drive charismatic. That low rider 20 meters to the stage, <laughs> and then the high like, legs would kick in. And he'd just slap his chest yeah. and be all Guerrero, and he was just awesome. So, this is a really cool looking pop. Um, of course, I, d I don't know if Eddie's removable from that, but you, you can buy one and you can find out. Find out. Um, <laughs> Maybe you can put other wrestlers in it. If, you if, definitely can. If you want to. Definitely. But really, really cool. Lots of detail on it. and I just love it. I'm very excited. Gotcha. It's very exciting. Back on the hammock. We are selling it <laughs> as, as a bundle. If you did want to grab some other stitch items with that item, you can at this point in time. Uh, we have, uh, in that bundle, we have Stitch and Rollers, which is a 2021 Fall Convention exclusive item, which is pretty great. We have uh, Rainbow Stitch, part of the Pride range, and we have um, Stitch on the People Mover, uh, the most exciting ride at Disney World. Um, he looks so stoked though. He is He's stoked. like really happy about he it. He is stoked, and you'll be stoked. You'll be happy if you grab uh, this awesome bundle for your collection. Wow. Um, that's all we got for Funko this week, folks, but uh, fear not, because we've got another guest in. Uh, my goodness gracious, it's Handsome Will! G'day guys, it's Handsome Will. Um, as for every week, I'm back with a handful of records that have gone up on the website in the last week. And what you got I'll this be, week, uh, Will? i got some goodies, Andy. You'll oh, be excited for I'm it. excited, Will! <laughs> um, and I'm going to go through them. I'm going to tell you a little bit about each album, and um, you guys can check out the rest of the details on the website. So. Ooh. Brandon, start Lincoln. <laughs> Brandon is good at Lincoln. Um, starting us off, we've got the Glass Animals picture just from Record Store Day. Now, I'm not sure if I've shown this one off before, but some of you guys might have missed it because it sold out very quickly on Record Store Day, and we've been lucky enough to get a small restock of units, which is, again, selling quite well. So I just wanted to bring this one in for anyone who might have missed it, um, just to tell them that they are currently on our website and to pick one up if you're keen on one. Um, but, yeah, it's a really awesome Glass Animals 12 inch single pitch disc, or maybe it's an EP technically, it's only got a few songs on it, but it's out of 2,500 units, so very limited stuff. Look at the back, um, my goodness. Yeah, I think this is Zerotype. Is it? I think so. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. Like see it spin. <laughs> <laughs> and um, next we've got Ramstein's new album, Zeit. Um, Ramstein are a sort of industrial, experimental, German hard rock heavy metal band. Um, Are you sure it's Ramstein? Is it Ramstein? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> it could be. They are amazing. I, uh, yeah, no, Ramstein sounds right. Stein's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this is their latest album that just came out, I think, either through a week ago or not too long ago, but it's gone up on our website in the last week and um, it's really awesome with some really awesome songs, but sounds like Bianca might know a thing or two about them if she'd like to say a couple words. I mean, a little bit. Is it Ramstein? Yeah. <laughs> it is not Ramstein. Oh. <laughs> but they are really, really cool band. Look, I, I don't understand German, but I've always just really enjoyed their sound. I was watching video clips last night that have come out the last few days and they are mint. Really, really cool. I'm going to look up the lyrics at some point though, so I actually understand what the songs are about. But yeah, they're really cool. Really dig them. Really awesome scene in Lost Highway where um, their most popular song plays. Oh, that was a pretty David Lynch film, moment. Lost Highway. <laughs> Um, next up, I've got a couple of awesome albums from The Offspring. So first up, The Greatest Hits, which is again something which sold out very quickly with Record Store Day. Um, however, we've been lucky enough to secure a few more units, so they're currently on our website. But what would pair better with it than Offspring's second album? Um, what's this one called again? Ignition. Um, so Ignition came out in the early 90s and it was their second album, so it came just before Smash. Um, but it's got that really unique um, sort of melodic punk rock sound that the offspring are known for um really catchy lyrics really awesome songwriting definitely pick it up this is the australian exclusive it's on sort of an orange with red marbling vinyl and it's very sick and also limited so yeah a couple awesome offspring records for all you fans out there um following the theme of punk rock we've got rancid with and out come the wolves on limited edition neon orange vinyl um this is another really iconic 90s punk rock album this is a bit more ska punk for those of you out there who enjoy it um, but yeah, another awesome colored limited edition repress. Sorry, Andy. Oh, good. Um, next up, a bit more sort of hard rock realm. Um, this is the debut album, self-titled from Royal Blood. This is an album I really enjoyed when it first came out. I think these guys are a duo, maybe a trio, but some really awesome sort of hard rock, um, heavier sounds coming from these guys. And it's very driving, very fun, very cool. 
Um, changing the direction a little bit, we've got Jason Mraz with La 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 Love Songs. Um, this is the album that has I'm Yours on it, song pretty much everyone in the world probably knows and has heard a thousand times. Um, oh, no. <laughs> the most overused wedding song known to history. Do you not know it, Andy? Uh, no. Do you know this guy? My the wedding, guy? My wedding, we played the Jurassic Park uh, <laughs> theme from... But from Swiss Army Man. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Um, well, anyway, Andy doesn't know this album, but I'm sure all of you guys at home do. Um, Jason Mraz, it's pretty iconic. Um, but yeah, if you enjoy it, pick it up. Next up, something a little more unknown or a little less well-known is Ethan P. Flynn's Universal Deluge. Um, this is on Young Turks Records, so like an electronic alternative label. Um, it's a really awesome sort of experimental electronic pop album and he's a really cool up-and-coming artist who's been receiving a lot of praise from critics for his work on this album. So if you haven't heard of it, definitely check it out. We've actually now got Spotify embeddings on our website. Um, so if you click on any album that's come out very recently or something a bit more popular, then I've put the embedding in, but look out for that on our website when you're shopping through the records because some of them will now have it. Um, I'll be putting it up on the new things, so this one does have it. Um, that way you can listen to the album right there on your browser. If you're logged in, you get 30 seconds. Uh, if you're logged in, you get the full song. If you're not, you get 30 seconds. But it makes it a really cool way to check out the songs on an album as you're browsing because through the website. I think buying with vinyl has a bit of a commitment. Absolutely. Watch, we've never listened to the album before. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's the perfect way to kind of get a little taste of what yeah. you might, uh, might be, uh, you know, picking up. Yeah, it's almost like you're in a second-hand record store and you can walk over to the turntable, chuck on the, the record. Wrong. Do I like it? Have I do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so this is an album I recommend people check out if you're into those sorts of sounds. Thank you, Andy. And last but not least, we've got another Record Store Day restock, Stevie Nicks with Balladonna. Um, very iconic album from the Fleetwood Mac X lead singer. Um, Record Store Day exclusive release, two LPs on 180 grams. Um, it's got a lot of her really great tracks and it's just a really sought after popular release. Cool. <laughs> I like that she has a proper Yeah, I like the bird. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> a question here. That's Aaron a good song yeah. How big is your personal vinyl collection? I'm glad you asked Whoa. that. <laughs> I'm glad you asked that. That would have the panic I just felt. Because you would have um, had to answer it. Yeah. Oh, oh, would I have? Like, um, we found out last week. <laughs> True. I don't know how many titles exactly, but it's like four and a half of those IKEA cubes, uh, the little cubes. So. If you if you can picture how many fit in one cube, four and a half of those. Um, yep. but yeah, the half nice. is picture how many people fit. But <laughs> the half is just a uh, uh, box set, so I don't know if you count those as individual. It records. is. There's a bunch of them in there. <laughs> Take them out of the box. Suddenly, bam! More records. <laughs> True. <laughs> Crazy. Um, but yeah, that, that's my personal vinyl collection size Ooh. for all of you at home. <laughs> well, we're gonna, Thank you. We're going to have you stick around just because, you know, questions yeah. are fun. Um, <laughs> we're going to talk you guys through a few more of these items with the team. Yeah, uh, let's take this. We've done both of those, um, but we may as well talk about some awesome action figures because we've got heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps. So many. And heaps have come in. Uh, so, Where to start, though? Uh, may as well start here. Uh, now, <laughs> we've spoken about best action, action figures before, best features, best articulation, best assortment, it's best action action figures from loyal subjects. Uh, look at that. This is what I said. Uh, anyway, we've got the Foot Soldier from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We've got Star Child from, um, from Kiss, from the uh, Destroyer Tour. Look at that body hair, though. It's, that's very detailed. It is. Oh, wow. It's there. <laughs> it's quite impressive, actually. That outfit goes quite low. Oh. Nice. Quick, someone else will a question. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got the Catman from the Destroyer Tour, also Kiss. Uh, we got a couple Lord of the Rings uh, characters. We got Legolas and uh, we have Gim uh, no Aragorn. Wow. Expected that to be Gimli, but no. <laughs> Aragorn, it is. Um, Lord of the Rings. Um, great movies. Love it. No, not great movies. Um, <laughs> Lord of the Rings but, is um, pinnacle. Best action action figures are the best action action figures for the price point in which they are priced. Um, they are relatively affordable. They all come with um, a huge amount of articulation uh, and they are all uh, come with a bunch of accessories and stuff as well. So really, really great figures if you're looking for something um, price friendly. 
Um, they yeah, they're about um, five inches tall. Nice. I think, but they all have thirty-one points of articulation. So Ooh. the uh, articulation to height ratio is pretty good. Well, <laughs> I mean, that's really out. Packing a lot in there. Yes, they are. <laughs> Quick, someone ask a question. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got some Crash Bandicoot figures uh, that have just come in. These are really, really cool. Yeah, they're sweet. Are these from the new game or? So they're from the Wave One of the Crash Bandicoot action figure assortment. Looks which... like just generic. Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of like there's just there's like the best of the best of Crash. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got Retro Crash. We've got uh, Crash Bandicoot with Aku Aku Mas. That's just classic Crash. Can I go past classic Crash, folks? <laughs> um, <laughs> we got Biker Crash uh, with the Akana Mask. Uh, we've got Coco uh, with the Kupuna Mask. And uh, we've got Dr. Neo with the uh, Uka Uka Mask. So they all come with a mask. They all come with a figure. They all come with um, a, a hidden, hidden nostalgia that uh, Crash Bandicoot fans are definitely itching for. So, um, check them out. Check them out. Hey Will, have you seen Dune? I have seen Dune. Please talk about these. No, I, haven't, I haven't yet. Oh, damn. I've seen David Lynch's Dune. Um, <laughs> but not, not the new one. Oh yeah, we got some Dune action figures in. Um, these ones are from Dark Horse Comics who traditionally did comics but have now stretched out into the uh, action figure realm over the past few years. Um, they're really awesome. Oh, they're not action figures, sorry. These are statues. Um, they're really awesome statues. I'm not sure exactly how tall they stand, but they look somewhere in the 7-inch realm, I would imagine. Um, but yeah, you've got Paul, you've got Lady Jessica, you've got Duncan Idaho, and you've got Garni. Um, some of the really iconic characters from the show. Um, so, first up, you've got this one here. There's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Um... I hate that his name is just Paul. <laughs> Zendaya's character? Yep. Charlie. Oh, yeah. Oh. Nobody help him. <laughs> I can't even see it. Lady Jessica, folks, it's Lady Jessica. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> and last but not least, Aquaman. <laughs> Yep, in a different franchise. How crazy. <laughs> but these action figures do have really awesome detail, and I believe they're at a pretty reasonable price point. Is that correct, Andy? Um, Brandon will let us know. Oh, Brandon will uh, let us are, know. Keep your eye on the comments. They are, they are static figures, so they won't, they won't actually move, but no. uh, they look a great candy collection. Like yeah, this. pop these up on the shelves and I'll show you love for June. <laughs> Um, Dark Horse are really great with their static yeah, the nice. There's a lot of detail and like they do come at a really affordable price. So it's a really easy way of getting like um, something you love into your collection without spending heaps and heaps of money. Yeah, I'm a really big fan of the packaging on this one as well. Um, a nice little die cut around the window and um, cool colours. For uh, what is sure to be a cool film that I just haven't seen yet, but I will. I will, I will, Will. <laughs> I hope you will, Andy. <laughs> no, you're Will, Will. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> Quick asking question. Um, <laughs> from DST, we've got uh, a couple of new gallery dioramas. Where from G.I. Joe, we've got Prophet Director Destro in the PVC diorama, where he's, he's all gold headed and leopard skinned inner of his coat. It's a look. Um, it's definitely a look. You gotta give him credit for, you know, committing to it. Um, <laughs> and we've got classic Destro here. Um, it's a bit underwhelming compared yeah, to the other it's one. it's fine. It's fine. It's just, you know, weekday <laughs> Destro. <laughs> yeah, the other one's like going out on Saturday nights or something. Yeah, he's got his case there at the back, which the other one doesn't. So. What's in the case? Uh, I don't know if money is a profit director. Like, mm, that's true. <laughs> Um, so yeah, no, it's got a case in the other one. This no. case is just gold. Sorry, folks, I just <laughs> led you to what soon one didn't have a case. Sorry. Um, <laughs> got some awesome figures from Hasbro in. Who's excited about the new Thor film? Oh, I love it, Thunder. Me, 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 me. Well, this figure isn't from that. This oh. is, uh, <laughs> this is, this is, uh, this is from a comic book. This is, uh, Marvel's Ragnarok, which is a cyborg oh. that is, uh, created a, by Tony Stark. Again, he really needs to stop doing that. Um, uh, cybernetic, cybernetic doppelganger of the Thunder God called Ragnarok. 
Um, and inevitably, as for the back, it would prove disastrous, Tony. <laughs> um, so that's a great figure for the Marvel Legends collection. Comes with Njolna, comes with spinning Njolna, and comes with um, two faces of Thor. One, half torn off to reveal his cybernetic face. I um, really love the spinning Mjolnir in that though. Like, that's a great really accessory. cool effect. And it's got the whole whoever holds etc stamped in mm. on all of them as it's spinning around. You would think that would blur too, but apparently not. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, back to Love and Thunder. We've got the new range of Marvel Legends figures from Love and Thunder. These um, look really, really cool. Bianca, please walk them through. <laughs> well, I am especially excited. Let's just start right in the middle with the Mighty Thor. Um, my friend community were all just like so excited over the fact that Lady Thor is finally here. She's going to be um, a cinematic Thor. It's very, very exciting. Yeah. So she becomes Natalie Thor Portman. in the absence of Thor. <laughs> Thor becomes Natalie Portman. So she's got heaps of accessories in there um, and also a piece of a builder figure as well. Ooh, what's what's the really builder cool. figure in this one? So, is it Korg? I believe it's it Korg. Is. Yes. Look at the back. Look at the back. Get the yes, whole yes. set to build Korg. Get the whole set now because as soon as this movie is out, all of these figures are going to sell out and we're going to be missing a piece. So you're going to be able to get the full build a, second, build a figure set. So definitely get them now. You know the movie's going to be good. Don't even wait. Just get them now. <laughs> get the full set, build Korg. It's exciting. I mean, Ragnarok was such a great Thor film. I feel like Love and Thunder is going to be right on par with that, maybe even better. Because I'm it's excited. got Lady Thor in it, so hey. It's Lady hey. Thor, but there's also the Guardians. Uh, mm. And from the Guardians, we have uh, <laughs> we have Groot, who is now slightly older again. He's slightly growing up in these films. Um, Does he still have an attitude, though? Don't he know. It looks like he's, he's got, um, a, a, you know, can-do attitude. Um <laughs> Uh, but we have, we have, uh, we have, I think the last time was Teen Groot, this is probably a young adult Groot, um, really into reading YA novels. Um, and we've got Star-Lord. Yeah, people like Chris Pratt in this role. Yeah, just not in, um, Jurassic, Jurassic yeah. times. It's pretty, it's pretty <laughs> awful in general, but it didn't used to be though. Really. No, like something it. happened. Yeah. So he looks pretty cool and, you know, if you want to create, um, sorry, recreate that um, awkward moment in the uh, Thor trailer, you can put the two of these together. Oh, it's Ravager Thor. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, he looks really cool in this one as well. Comes with a um, bunch of accessories also. And we also have Thor in his brand spank new armor. I'm pretty excited to see this in the film. It's got primary colors on it and it's like it's really bright. it's really bright to him it's like really yeah, aggressive it is i really it's I'm, really bold i'm i i've got to say visually i really liked uh ragnarok because it really had like a nice green and pink and purple um aesthetic whereas this has definitely got again as you said primaries it's it's deep blues it's deep reds and uh deep yellows and i don't know i don't know how it's gonna go i don't know if i'm gonna like it visually i might be like ooh, tiger it's too much. Um, I'm very excited. I love colors, so this is gonna be it's gonna be really good. And uh, Christian Bale's back in superhero movies, um, and this time as a villain. Uh, this is a great figure of Gore, uh, the God Killer, and um, well, it's also a great likeness of uh, Christian Bale in uh, on its very small scale. Um, we'll find out is. how menacing he is uh, when the movie is released. Um, and then we have King Valkyrie oh, yeah. as well in the series. Um, so she looks really, really cool. I'm really digging the look of that new armor. Ooh, it was black and white. Yeah, exactly. Hey, look, Very look, exciting. Look, came in there. <laughs> so that is a new line of, uh, of Thor and Thunder uh, figures from Marvel Legends. Also got a couple of other um, pieces from Hasbro. Namely, Will, this Transformers figure. What? Transformers? You know, I love Transformers because they transform from everyday objects into cool cyber beasts. Yeah, um, that is one of Will's defining things. He really is into Transformers. I just want to shut up about them, guys. I, I need help. Um, <laughs> here we've got Autobot Blaster and Eject. Um, it's it's a mm. boombox. So an everyday object that turns into a Transformer. Oh, this from... is very you, Will. 
Because yeah. you like talking about music, and this is a it's transformer true. that likes to turn into boomboxes which play music. And if you see me walk around the streets on a weekend, I've always got a boombox on one shoulder, <laughs> just blasting those 90s cassettes. Quick, ask Will about these weekends. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, this one is from the Transformers Legacy line. Um, I'm sure people who know more about Transformers know what that means. Um, but anyway, it's a really sick figure. I really like the boombox ax aspect because I haven't seen one of those in a while and they are incredibly nostalgic. Um, but yeah, he looks, nostalgic. Like a, <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a, uh, a pretty sick Transformer. I wouldn't want to mess with him. A pretty hip guy. Um, we've also got some uh, three and three quarter Kenner vintage collection figures. Uh, of course, Star Wars, we've got Ahsoka Tano. We have um, Obi-Wan uh, Kenobi. Uh, from the uh, episode two, um, and we've got uh, Mace Windu, and everyone's favorite iteration of Darth Vader. It's uh, young Anakin Skywalker. Um, really into pod racing. Really into um, building droids. Um, really into Natalie Portman. Yeah, he is. Um, my goodness, <laughs> he is. What do you think about that, Natalie Portman? Well, I don't oh. mind. <laughs> How old was she meant to be in that she's movie? She's meant to be much younger than the age Gab looks like. Okay. I think she's supposed to be like 12 and he's supposed to be 10. What? Yeah, but he like looks 20. like he's 8 and she does look like 18. Okay. It never made sense to me no. uh, because in the next movie she looks the same and he's grown a lot. Puberty mm. <laughs> hit hard, folks. <laughs> um, so yeah, these are really great uh, three and three quarter figures um, from the Star Wars line from Hasbro. There's so much detail packed into those kind of figures though. I always find myself really, really impressed by how much they can actually get onto such a small amount of figure. It's itty bitty. <laughs> it's it's really, really cool. But the details so, so good. Uh, from McFarlane, we have some awesome figures. If you're a, span, a, a, a fan of Spawn, not a span of Spawn, um, <laughs> you can grab uh, some Spawn figures. We've got the Dark Redeemer, we have Gunslinger Spawn, and we have Soul Crusher. And uh, these are all available now. They're all in stock. They're all stripping down. You can grab them. Um, but uh, check that out. He's got wings. Uh, check that one out. He's like a cowboy. And this one has a gas mask on. So, wow. I like guess he's toys. in 2020 or? Well, <laughs> well. Maybe 2030. Who knows? Oh, please. Don't <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've also got uh, the Joker Titan from Batman Arkham Asylum. That is um, scary looking. Woo, he's a big bad dude. Um, my goodness, my goodness. This part, the the uh, mega thick line. Um, so he's he's big, uh, he's bulky, uh, he's articulated, and uh, boy, it's a great figure from a farm. Um, we've got a couple other DC figures that have just come in. Uh, yeah, we have Wonder Woman she's with part of the Todd McFarlane uh, designer line. And I really, really like um, her costume in this. Like, it is a real fresh take on the design there. And of course, she comes with the lasso of truth and the sword and shield. And we also have the Batman. Oh, from Batman. Yeah, from Batman. Sorry, <laughs> we have Batman from the Batman. <laughs> with the likeness of Rob Patterson as Stuart, the Batman. He held his own against World's Greatest Actor Paul Dano. I still haven't seen it and Is need Paul Dano to. Like paying you or something. <laughs> Spreading the gospel of Paul Dano. Uh, cool. Um, that's all we have from McFarlane. I've got a couple other things that are just coming. Yeah, we put Rocky on the table. So Rocky is from um, it's from Migo Toys. Um, sorry, Migo Corp. And uh, boy, I just wanted to put this on the table. Well, Josh wasn't here because he <laughs> loves Rocky. And uh, he's going to be so sad that he was like, no, I'm going to go home, I'm going to do this other day, I'm going to be crying, baby. Uh, <laughs> well, Josh, watch out, because look, it's Rocky, and you know, you know. You said we're going to fashion sense from too. Uh, oh, it, it is. Um, also, well, that stint in prison. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from Quantum Mechanics, we've got some awesome new plush. These are called Zimmau and uh, Bianca. They, they, the defining they, feature of these is what? They they zip and unzip. I don't know if this one's gonna do it for me. No. Okay, let's just try this one because I was playing with this one earlier. So we've got the well the alien from Alien. That you can Whoa, zip them look up. Look how cool that looks. And then you can unzip it. 
and then you it's unzip it. <laughs> so we've got those ones. We've also got um, Maleficent as a dragon. You can zip and unzip as well. Yeah, this one works. <laughs> so these are really, really cute. And um, I believe we've got a little statue from Quantum Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a cute figure, elite figure uh, from Big Trouble in Little China. Um, it is. And there he is with the, uh, the skull entrance there. Uh, Q figs are great little diorama figures um, that uh, they're all perfectly in scale. They're all wonderfully stylized and great design of toys. They come in awesome packaging that is collector friendly, no tape at all, so you can put it right back where you got it. Um, but uh, yeah, really, 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 really cool figure from uh, Quantum Mechanics. One of Cinnamon's best hairstyles right there. Right there. Um, boy, we've only got a couple more things to talk about and then oh boy we're, we're gonna spin that wheel and people are gonna win surprises um and by a couple i mean three more little small things jess so i hope that wheel is full it's good <laughs> <laughs> um uh new pokemon release we have build and battle stadium uh this is part of the brilliant stars uh line uh so included you have um two individually built uh, two individual build and battle boxes each containing a 40 card ready to play deck you've got uh each, card, each one of those cards includes uh, one in four unique promo cards. Uh, you got four additional Pokemon the Trading Card Game, Sword and Shield, Brilliant Stars Booster Pack, so you get 12 in all. Um, you got 121 Pokemon the Trading Card Game Energy Cards. You got six Damage Counter Die. You got one Competition Legal Coin Flip Die. You got two Acrylic Condition Markers and a Collector's Box to hold everything. Um, so if you are wanting to start to play competitively, this is a really great way to get the game started. Uh, so building battle set, uh, stadium set from uh, from the Pokemon Company. Uh, also, while we're on Pokemon, uh, this is Pokemon Trading Card Game Battle Academy, easy to learn cool. and fun to play. So this is if you are a beginner player, you can learn the ins and outs of the Pokemon Trading Card Game. Uh, all you need is one friend to play with. Um, so if you're uh, wanting to teach your kids how to play, or you're a little fella and you just want to start collecting Pokemon cards, but you want to start playing them as well, uh, well, you can check out this. Um, it's got uh, a bunch of stuff. You've got three complete Pokemon trading card uh, decks, so you've got 60 cards. Uh, each deck includes a powerful special Pokemon, Cinderace, Pikachu, or Eevee. Um, you've got uh, instruction sheets to, uh, to help you set up. You've got tutorial guides. Uh, you've got a game board. Three decks to help keep the cards organized, rule books, um, metallic coin, uh, damage counters, and um, a code card for the new Pokemon Trading Card Game Live game. Um, so, fun. really, really great way to get started uh, on the game, and a really, really awesome new product from the Pokemon Company. Normally, they're just putting out really kind of like the same thing each time, but that's the first time I've seen something that's actually going to teach people how to play a game that if you missed it and people have been playing for like 25 years, you'd be like, ah. Oh, Probably too late to catch up and learn how to do that. But nope, now you can. Um, as long as you're six years old, folks. Um, <laughs> and uh, one last thing to talk about uh, is this uh, this uh, premium dye stitch set that we probably already shown you, but uh, we thought because there's so much other stitch stuff on the table, we show them again. So if you need some dye, you need some premium dye, well, check out the stitch one. I think those are really cute. I love how they have a real Hawaiian kind of like tiki theme yeah, to cool. them. It's really, really Look, cool. Uh, look like carved wood and um there actually are uh uh carved or at least um digitally carved but um you know they're sculpted so it's cool it's a nice uh, premium dice set uh that's from um USA Apple. so jess are you ready i'm ready we're ready give me away some prizes uh first prize we are going to give away is the leave and stitching hammock um pop moment from funko uh it's got leave and stitching and hammock um, from the film Lilo and Stitch. It's a pop moment. Um, let's give it a spin, Jess, figure out who's gonna win. Right, that was a good first spin, Jess. Yeah, go soft first. Easy. Tyson. Tyson Cornwell. Congrats, Tyson. Awesome. Tyson, congratulations, you have won the Lilo and Stitch uh, movie moment. Please send us a private message on Facebook with your name, your personal information, and your email address, and we'll get this sent out to you first thing next week. Um, second prize, we're spinning for the big one, folks. It's the, the 10 inch T Rex from Jurassic World Dominion. Um, Jess, let's give it a nice solid spin, see who's gonna win. 
Yeah, if it lands on Toxin, we will spin again. We don't just give away multiple prizes in one episode. I'm sorry, one person. We share the love. <laughs> See, in this instance, this is why we spin again. Sorry, Toxin. Okay. I feel like that was Jinx because yeah. you said it. No, I didn't have to say it. <laughs> no, say it. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna try. <laughs> this way. The lens over again, I'm waiting to be straight. Don't be tossing, don't be tossing, don't be tossing. That was quite a spin, Andy. That's like, really spinning. I don't know why Luke has a little trouble with <laughs> He's coming around again. Aaron Kingspan. Aaron Kingspan. Yeah. Congratulations. Yay. You've done it. You're on the T-Rex 10-inch pop. Uh, so please send us a private message on Facebook with your name, your personal information, and your email address. We'll get that sent out to you first thing next week. Last prize yeah. we're going to give away is the, the, the mystery prize. And this week I picked this one. Christine Palmer. Christine Palmer. Rachel McAdams uh, from um, the new Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness film. Blake has seen it. Maybe you have too. Please don't spoil it. I want to see it one day too. Whisker. That was fast as well. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I fell my Bianca. <laughs> Bianca, congratulations. Uh, you've won the Christine Palmer pop. Please send us a private message on Facebook with your name, postal information, and email address, and we'll get out. Let's get it sent out to you first thing next week. Guys, thanks for watching. This has been a week in review here at Pop Culture. I'm Andy, Mrs. Well, introducing Jess. Uh, we've got Bianca, and of course, Blake behind the counter. Uh, we'll catch you next week for another exciting episode. Have a safe weekend, folks.